All right, so here's the thing. I have this huge data set with over 100,000 records. And while I import this into Power BI and get it into Power Query, the main problem that I usually have is to understand which columns have errors in it or which column have empty values in it. Now, obviously I can just click on this filter here and check whether there are any blank values or errors in it, but that's not the most efficient way to do it. There is a tool within Power BI, which is called Data Profiler, which can do all these things, that is identify errors, identify blank spaces, and a whole lot other statistics behind your data in just one click. So if you're interested, stay tuned and I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to click on this get data and select this text CSV because that's the format I have the data in. And in case you want to download, the link will be in the description. You can download the data from that link. I'm going to select this data here. And in the preview pane, I'm going to just select transform data because that's what we're going to do before we load the actual data. Okay. All right. So once you are in the Power Query editor, the first thing that you would like to check is whether your data has any errors or not. You would also want to check whether your data has any empty or blank spaces. Now, if your data is small enough, you can just check it by scrolling down and check all these things. However, if your data is large, then scrolling is not an option. In those cases, Power Query gives you a very interesting tool, which will help you analyze your entire data and find all issues all at once. And it's called Data Profiler. And the way you access Data Profiler is by going to View. And inside View, there's a section called Data Preview. And within Data Preview, we have a couple of checkboxes here. So let's say, for example, I want to check whether my columns have any empty spaces or any errors in them. I can see that there are a couple of empty spaces here, but I don't know whether there are more empty spaces at the bottom or not. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to just click on this column quality. This will give me quick three parameters, which I can check for each column, whether the column has valid entries, whether it has any errors, whether there are any empty rows or not. Okay. Now it says I have 99% valid entries, zero errors and less than 1% empty values. However, this analysis is done only on top thousand rows as it is indicating at the bottom like right, right here. But my data has more than 100,000 records. So in order for this tool to analyze the entire data set, you just come down where it says column profiling based on thousand rows, just click here and select column profiling based on entire data set. Now it will refresh and reanalyze the entire thing and give you the results in couple of seconds. Now, as you see, it's saying I have 0% error here, 99% valid entries and 1% empty. Okay. Now what we can do is I can right click on this and it gives me a couple of more options. I can copy quality metrics. Okay. I can remove duplicates. I can remove empties. I can remove errors and all those other features. Okay. For now, it's just an empty cell. So I might choose to replace it with another value at a later stage by going to transform and replace values. For now, this column looks good for me because there are no errors in it. Okay. Let's scroll to the right. Now, if you see the electric range column, this is stating that this column is a text data type. However, I know that electric range column should be a number column. So what I'll do is I'll just click on this ABC, change it to a whole number. I'm going to click on replace current. And the moment I did that, it converted all the numbers. However, I can see there is one error here. And if you want to know the details of this, I can just click here and it will show me we couldn't convert to number because the value was NA. Okay. Now I'm going to just remove this step from here and 
in the electric range column, I would like to see all the rows which has errors in it. To do that, I'm going to just right click on this and select this option which says keep errors. It will now show me all the rows which has error in this electric range column. I can click on any one of them and it will show me what's the exact error. Okay. It's the same error which says we couldn't convert to number because the value was NA. Now what I will do is I'll just remove this keep error step that I added and instead I'm going to right click again and I'm going to say remove errors. Now the column has removed all the errors from it and just a quick note. These options will only come when you right click over this column profiler. Okay. Like this. If I right click over this cell anywhere, it will not give me those options. So be mindful when you're doing this. So with this, you can check all the columns that you have and remove errors, remove duplicates as per your requirements. Okay. All right. Moving on. The second option that we have here is column distribution. So I'm going to just click on this column distribution here. Now what this will do is it will give you a quick statistics of all the columns in a data about how many distinct values you have in each column and how many unique values you have in your columns. Now, what is the difference between distinct and unique? Let's say for example, you have a row with five A's, two B's and one C. In this case, the distinct will tell you that you have three values, which is A, B and C. And unique will tell you, you have one value, which is C, which is occurring only once. All right. So this will just give you a quick statistical insight into your data. However, there is another option which will give you much more details about your columns. And that is column profile. So I'm going to just click on this column profile here and Whichever column you select, it will give you a detailed statistics about those columns. Now, if the column is a categorical column like this, which means a text value or similar values, then a couple of values will be not significant for you. For example, uh, min, max, right? These values are not significant. However, count, error, empty, distinct, unique, and empty strings, these are pretty valid for this kind of columns. However, let's go to our electric range column once more. Select this and now the statistics have much more deeper implications. Let's say for example, you wanted to quickly identify what was the maximum value in this column. You can just look at this statistics here. Okay. And you will know what is the range between the minimum value and the maximum value here. It will also give you uh, the normal statistics, which is count, distinct, empty, and all those others. In addition to that, it will also give you average and standard deviation as well. So this becomes pretty useful when checking your overall data quality and understanding few key statistics behind your data. So I hope this was helpful. And if you're liking my content, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you do not miss any content that I upload. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.